In this week's episode of Working With Work, I'm going to tell you, you're not busy. Hello and welcome to episode 37 of Working With Work. My name is Carl Pauline and today I want to explain to you about the word busy. Now the problem we have today is that everybody goes around saying I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. The truth is we're not all busy. We might have a lot of things to do which is quite common these days of course but busy is actually just a feeling it's a feeling of busyness it's kind of like an emotional feeling now if it's something that we feel rather than something that we physically are then it means that there's something we can do about it now if we have a lot of things to do which may be true then of course you have a lot of things to do and you need to get on and start doing those things. But first of all, let me just explain something that is really, really important. Whatever it is that you have got to do, you can realistically only do one thing at a time. So what we have to do is we have to prioritize whatever it is that we are going to do. Now the thing is, how do we prioritize? Now there are many, I mean, I know all you guys out there have many, many different jobs. Some of you are bosses, others are employees, some of you are still at university. Now the thing is, what you have to decide is what is the priority work you need to do. Now if your boss at 10 o'clock in the morning says, I need you to prepare a presentation for 3 o'clock this afternoon, then whatever else you had prioritized to do that morning, then I'm afraid whatever your boss has asked you to do has now become the priority. Everything else gets put to one side and you get on and you prepare that presentation. There is really no choice. That's one of those easy things that you can have to do. It doesn't matter how important the other stuff that you were working on was. Your boss has asked you to do a presentation at three o'clock this afternoon. You now have five hours before the start of that presentation. You have no file, no PPT file, no keynote file ready. Basically, you've got five hours. You've got to get on and do it. But then there are other days where you come into work and you look at your desk and you look and, and you look at your email and you think, oh, what am I going to do? Oh, I'm busy, I'm busy. But you have no idea what you're busy doing. And that's where the problem really is, is when you start thinking, I'm busy, I'm busy. But if you actually look around, what are you busy doing? Because that would suggest that you are actually not prioritizing the important tasks. Now let me give you an example about why it's really important to understand that you can only do one thing at a time and that you may indeed have a lot of things to do. And essentially that's the way my brain is working. I can only work on one thing at a time and I need to be sort of thinking ahead uh, as to what I'm going to be doing. So let's take these YouTube videos for example. I produce between three and four videos every week. Uh, The publication date is my Todoist video usually comes out on a Sunday, Evernote video comes out on Tuesday and this Working With Work episode comes out on a Thursday. So what I need to do is is decide what time on those days am I going to publish. Now I actually publish them at 10 a.m. Now I could of course publish them on each day at 10 a.m. manually or I could take advantage of the technology I have available to me which in this case is YouTube scheduling feature and I can upload all the videos that I do on a Sunday so that they publish on the correct day at 10 a.m. That means at 10 a.m. on Tuesday or Thursday I don't have to worry about anything because I know it's going to schedule and it will get published. Later in the day I can add the video link to my website and I can add it to my Facebook page and so on. But at that publication time to me is 10 a.m. Korean time by the way, um, I will get the videos published. I'm planning ahead. 
So the, all this feeling of busyness is really caused by the fact that you have not decided beforehand what needs to be done and what you need to prioritize. So really what I want to tell you in today's episode, and I think I'm rambling, so I do apologize if I am rambling, but what I really want to say is that basically three things you need to be aware of. First of all, you're not busy. Nobody's really busy, it's just a state of mind, which means that you can change your state of mind. Instead of thinking of yourself as being busy, tell yourself you have a lot of things to do, which is more accurate anyway. And then the second thing you need to realize is that you can only work on one thing at a time effectively. You can try and multitask if you want, but then you're just going to cause more problems for yourself further down the line. I would strongly recommend that you avoid multitasking at all costs. So what you then need to do is to prioritize. What are you going to work on? And the way I do this myself is I ask the question, which piece of work would have the biggest impact on my day, maybe on my week, maybe on my month? So which piece of work can I do that will have the biggest con com impact on my day? I get that done first, then it's done. If something comes from a client or from a student or whatever in the day that has a sense of urgency to it, then I can reprioritize. There's nothing wrong with reprioritizing your work because you really have to get, I suppose, the time sensitive work done first. And then you can work on the longer term projects. But what I strongly recommend you do is you need to start removing this word busy from your mind. Everybody says they're busy and to a certain extent, I suppose we are all busy because we all have different responsibilities. But that word busy is the word that actually starts causing a lot of stress within us. I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. It starts raising our heart rate and it's causing us stress. Rather than using the word busy, tell yourself, I have a lot of things to do. I need to decide what needs doing first. Get that done and move on to the next thing. One thing at a time. When you really focus your mind on one thing at a time, then what you're gonna find yourself doing is your first of all your stress levels will drop and you will actually start getting a lot more work done okay enough from me today i hope you found this useful i know it's a bit late in the show to say this but if you did like this video please click on the like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel i would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel thank you very much again for watching i wish you all a very very productive week Thank you.